I'm Amanda Borges, and this is The Spin on Yahoo Sports. The final London game in this season's international series takes place Sunday as the Eagles face the Jaguars at Wembley Stadium. But what's the long-term chances of a team going overseas? I'm joined now by senior NFL writers Therese Paler and Charles Robinson. Charles, let's start with you. Is London still an option for the league? And if not, where else would they consider? Well, look, London's still at the top of the options there. And, you know, Shad Khan, obviously, up until recently, was involved in potentially purchasing Wembley Stadium. He's not going to do that now, and that creates a little bit of a hitch in the long-term plan. But I think people need to understand what the long-term plan is in London. First off, the league has a ton of traction in London right now. It's very lucrative. They're making a lot of money. I had a chance to talk to Jerry Jones about this recently, just sort of about the international series and where the aims are going. StubHub has seen a ticket increase of over 300% in demand in the last five years. London's a hot ticket for any NFL game, not just a specific one. Any NFL game is very difficult for London fans to come by now. You see a lot of apparel deals, television is up. And really, from talking to Jerry Jones, what was interesting about this is the end goal here is television, not necessarily a team there, but television. Uh, the BBC devotes a ton of time uh, to covering the NFL right now. But what's interesting is Sky Sports shows as many NFL games per week as Premier League matches. The NFL is overjoyed with that, and that's really what the target is, to expand that TV audience, to expand those television contracts, and as they renew, start to make even more money in London. And the NFL has kind of gotten down to a brass tax reality here. I think they wanted to try and get a team there between 2020 and 2025, when they first looked at this about 15 years ago. But if they can't do that, they'll create it in the aggregate. What that means is, to go from four games to six games to eight games and essentially have eight home games in London. That's an NFL regular season here in, in the United States. So they're moving toward having a team there one way or another, whether it's putting a team there or simply sending teams in for eight games a year. That's what's going to happen. Well, from the players perspective, Therese, what do they think about the possibility of having an international team in the NFL? Well, based on the reaction of the players I've talked to, the, the bottom line is this going to London is a pain. It's a pain for the coaches and it's a pain for the players. However, the, the players have been going there for a while now, so this is something they'll continue to do. But if the NFL wants to ramp that up, uh, they're going to have to collectively bargain that, obviously, and they're going to have to give up some things. Uh, from a player's point of view, taxation is a, a concern. The travel, this is several time zones away. Like The bottom line is that if there is a permanent team in London for the players on that team, this is going to be a pain. No matter how many ways they try to couch it or, or make it easier, it's going to be a pain and an inconvenience. So if the owners want to go there for this money grab, which they do, I was speaking to a league executive about this recently, like, look, the money is there, right? And as long as the money is there, the NFL will be there. Um, you, you know, if the NFL wants to take advantage of that fully, okay. But from the player's perspective, you better make sure that you take care of us in the next CBA on a few other issues. No matter how players feel, we'll continue to see games in London through at least 2025, as Charles pointed out. But if that will lead to a team overseas, only time will tell. Thank you, guys. For more NFL news, keep it locked on The Spin right here on Yahoo Sports.